Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom notifications and ringtones on your Note 10 or Android 9 device. First of all, here's how to make a different notification tone between the different apps if they support sound. Go to Settings by pulling down the menu at the top and hit the gear on the right. Alright, go to Sounds and Vibration and then Notification Sounds. Okay, as you can see here, this is only just the notification sounds that are stored on the phone and there's no actual control here for setting a different tone for email and for text, for example. All right, back out of that. I went back twice. Okay, now click on notifications. Click see all at the bottom. Okay, now you can control all the different apps with a different sound for each one. So for example, we'll click on messages and then new messages. Okay, so right here under sound is where you can select the sound for all uh, text messages. So click that and here's the list of all the uh, sounds available on the phone. Right now it's currently set to contact. I'll show you in a minute how to add a custom text tone. When you add a custom text tone it'll show up in this list right here too. So let's back out of that, back to Messages. And this is also where you can set a custom sound for your individual contacts. If I scroll down here below New Messages, I have two of them set up currently, Bathman and Random. Okay, I'll show you how to make those show up here in just a minute. First, we'll click on one of the contacts so you can see how to change the text tone. We'll click on Random. Random is just the name of a contact that I've entered into the phone just for the purposes of this video. See here under sound it says contact. That's the default sound for texting that I just showed you a minute ago. If you click sound, it'll allow you to set whatever text tone you want. Now to make that person actually show up here like Stoke totally out of settings and go into our messaging app. Okay, I'm in my messaging app under the random conversation. You can do this with any of the other conversations in your app. Click the three dot menu right here and see where it says custom notifications. That slider has to be on and then that'll make that contact show up in the page that I just showed you a second ago. Unfortunately, if you delete the conversation in your messaging app, it'll also delete the custom ringtone settings should they ever text you again and you'll have to do this again. I don't think there's a way around this. If anybody knows of a way, please comment below uh, as to the solution to that. All right, so that's how you change notification tones for the individual app. You can use this exact same process for most of the other apps in the list if they support sound. If you want to set an actual custom ringtone for your contacts, go into your contact list. Okay, so I've clicked my random contact and then the little eye indicator to the right to get into the contact info. Uh, click edit at the bottom. Scroll down, hit view more. Towards the bottom you'll see ringtone. And then here's all the available ringtones available in the phone. You can set that to ring just for that random contact or any of your other contacts that you want to set that to. So stay tuned if you want to see how to actually add a custom ringtone or notification sound to the phone. Let's back out of that. First of all, you either have to add music files from your computer or you have to download them from the internet. There's various sites you can purchase music from. Usually these are going to be an MP3 file, but not always. So if you add files from your computer, you can install the files wherever you want. Click your phone listed in the Drive section on the left in Windows File Explorer. And if you're using a Mac, you'll need to first download and install the Android file transfer before the computer will recognize your phone. Once you're into your phone, you'll want to find the folder that's called Notifications or Ringtones. And you'll install the audio file in the appropriate folder for whatever you're going to use the file for. If you downloaded the file from the internet, you're going to go into your phone under the My Files folder. I have mine out here in the main area for easy access. Uh, if you have a Samsung, you'll find it in your Samsung folder right here. 
and uh, let's click My Files. If you don't have a Samsung, you need to locate the My Files folder wherever that device stores that at. Okay, so we're in the My Files folder. Um, this is the main area that you should get into. You'll click Internal Storage. Okay, if the file was downloaded from the internet, more than likely it's going to either be in your download file or it could be in your music file. But if you've looked in both those areas and it's not in either one, it's an easy fix. Go to the magnifying glass and hopefully you know the name of the file and start typing and it should show up there. Okay, so mine showed up. Long press the file and then I like to click copy. Um, if you move it, you, you eliminate the original file. So I want to keep the original file where it's at. So I'm going to press copy, go back, back, back to the root directory of your internal storage. And I'm going to place that in the ringtones folder. Okay, if I was using this audio file for a text tone or anything else other than a ringtone, I would put it in the notifications folder right here. But this one's going to be for a ringtone, so let's click ringtone and then copy here. All right, Elvis Presley showed up right there. Now, to put that as a custom contact for your contact, let's go back to our random contact. Okay, we're back in our random contact information screen. Click edit like I showed you before. Scroll down, view more, ringtone. Okay our stranger in the crowd. Here it is, Elvis Presley, stranger in the crowd. Um, what you'll do is you'll select that. Okay, I selected it and then backed out one time. As you can see here, ringtone Elvis Presley. That's the one I selected and then click save. And now that is set for your random contact. And you can do this for any of your contacts. And of course, if you're gonna do this for a, a notification for your text tone, you'll do the same thing using the list. When you go into your notification list, like I showed you before, you can set it that way into your notification list. But remember, you got to put it in your notifications folder instead. I should also mention that you can use these ringtones for all phone calls and all text notification tones instead of just your individual contacts. You'll just set it up with your normal ringtone or text tone in the app the way that I showed you earlier. All right, that's about it, guys. If you liked this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.